Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Screaming Pirate EDC. Uh, hope you guys are drinking some coffee. I mean, I am, just to make it through the day. Oh, and if you ever get tired of seeing me sip coffee, I, I can't help you. Um, I love coffee. With that being said, guys, if you are interested in sticker or sticker, let me know. I will have a pop-up for email and Instagram. They are $2.50 a piece. So let's go ahead and drop those down there. Now, it is right around a week since Blade, and there is one knife at Blade that I see more talk about across every person in the knife community than anything else. Do I think it's the best thing that came out at Blade? No. Um, is it something that is truly exciting for the knife community? Yes. That is the AD 20.5. Now, this is the full production, not in-house version of Demco's AD 20. Um, these are being made in Taiwan. And these are $150, $149.99 is what I think they go for. They're OS 10A. And yeah, they're good. I think that they fit well in a large hand, just so you guys can see that there. They're not bad. They really aren't. Uh, I got to either, I forgot if, if it was me or somebody else who ended up hearing about this from John Demko. If you don't like the OS 10 a the reason it's OS 10 a is because anything higher, they would have to water jet cut it. And that would cause the price to go up to like 200 bucks. At 200 bucks for... You know, plastic handles, people are not going to buy that. So he figured go with a, a more budgeted steel, but keep it at 150 and make it more accessible. Um, also, I'll tell you this right now, guys. He took like 250 of these things at least to blade, uh, like 100 of each blade shape, I believe. Yeah, because I have a zero, nine, zero number on mine. Uh, minimum, that's what he brought. Yeah, he sold out. Like... Pretty sure Sunday afternoon he had nothing. Uh, actually, might have had nothing Saturday afternoon, guys, the more I think about it. Like, he, those knives, they were gone. So, with that being said, what do I think? One week in. Well, this and the McMee's three and a half are the most consistent knives that are on me every day. Uh, I really like the weight of this. Uh, it's nice and lightweight. I think it's just over three ounces. I like how fast it deploys. I mean, it's it's nice. It's quick. It still has that shark lock, so nice and sturdy. I like that he did thumb studs and hole because, I mean, you can flick. You can, if you get your thumb right there, you can flick. Or you can do this. It's fidgety. It's nice. Um, I like the shark's foot. I know you lose some blade length, but uh, it's a cool blade shape. So, guys, I do like the blade shape. I think that you lose a little bit of blade shape over the drop point, um, but I think it's an interesting blade shape. I really do. I like that he calls it the shark's foot because you know, it's the shark lock, so it's the shark's foot. Uh, very clever. But yeah, it drops shut. It's nice. Um, just because of the nature of the lock, you don't. it's not a lot of blade retention, but I think it's a good knife. Now, I wanted to show you guys some size comparisons because everyone's going to either want one, but not many people have one. So I wanted to get, let you guys know exactly, you know, what are you getting into? Here is a mini sheepdog from Kaiser. You can get these for like 60 bucks. Uh, mine's M390, so it's a little bit more, but there is your size comparison. So to give you an idea next to a mini sheepdog, okay? Now, to give you another size comparison that I think everyone should hopefully be able to see and understand is going to be next to a bottle of KPL, okay? So KPL takes about the whole blade length. So I'll give you an idea, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> um, if you don't have a bottle of KPL, go get some. It's great for knives. You just loosen the pivot a little bit, drop some down in there, tighten it back up, and you're good to go. Now, if you are wondering how does this compare to an AD20, the full-size one, the thick boy, as I call it. There they are, side by side. So the full-size AD20 is significantly bigger in every way. It weighs almost twice as much. The blade is big. 
it, the handle's bigger, and wait till you guys see the thickness. So yeah, you're getting a lot more material here, but these are also done in shop. So they're like 425, 450. They're not cheap. That's 150. This is going to enable, I think, everyone to get their hands on a Demco. And I think that's a great thing. I really do. I think the size, the fit in hand, and the fidget factor is going to make this a must-have for a lot of people. I also think it's going to be on a lot of people's uh, 2021 Knives of the Year. I really do. Um, it might make my list. It might not. I might not even make a list. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, but I do think that as of right now, I like it. I think it's going to stick stick around. And uh, I think it's a great summer carry for me. It's only, like I said, just over three ounces. So fantastic knife, guys. If you can get your hands on one, hopefully this video helps you with the size and whatnot and uh, whether or not you should get one. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and head down to the comment section and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.